So now maybe this message will reach in your country or Spanish people. Even in our place, there is a Chavacano people. Mm -hmm. the, the language is the same as Spanish. Ah. So inshallah, maybe you can give advice to all the Spanish people pues, uh, about Islam, inshallah. Pues un saludo de amor y de paz para los, los que entendemos español. Eh, yo les recomiendo, como persona, después de 20 años de musulmán, les recomiendo el Islam como el camino verdadero hacia Dios, como el camino de entregarse a un Dios eh, misericordioso y compasivo. Así que, bienvenidos al Islam. Gracias, hermano. Gracias. Gracias. Assalamu alaikum, Ibrahim Casey again with you. And today, tonight, we are going to interview one of uh, our friend, our brother in Islam. Uh, we met him here in Riyadh, and one of a uh, coffee shop, sombrero, means uh, a cup in our language, Tagalog. So we will know him tonight, inshallah, from where he is and why he did accept Islam. What is the story behind it? Assalamu alaikum, brother. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah. So can you introduce your name and from where you are? Yes, good. My name is uh, Gustavo Perez Figueroa. It means I am a Latin from Colombia, South America. Uh, and here we are. Happy to be with you. To, nice to meet you too. Pleasure. Uh, can you tell us what was your religion before? I was uh, born and raised as a Catholic, Christian Catholic. Mm. Most of the Latin Americans since were... Birth, until you since birth, up. yes. Uh, yes not, until, not until birth, but since kid, yeah. <laughs> Since, Since kid, yeah. because yes, you're because right. Nobody is born. Uh, nobody is born. It's raised by the parents. You're right. So I was raised by, as a Catholic. Catholic. So how did you find Islam? Well, Alhamdulillah, uh, by chance, yeah. um, I came to Saudi Arabia to work here in the year 2000, yeah. and um, I came as a normal Western. That you know, we are, we don't follow too much the religion because we have a lot of doubts of what is happening to religion. So I came and I found the Islam here. Yeah. And then I started studying about Islam mm. just to debate about the religion. Uh, you study Islam because you wanted to debate. I want to debate with okay. Muslims. And it's something that I call that was my best mistake ever. Mm. Because more deeply I went to the religion to debate, yeah. more I was convinced that that was the right religion to follow. Not only is our religion, the concept that we have mm. is a system of life, a system to be at attached to the truth and to the Lord. So Alhamdulillah, I, I found Islam and I decided to become a Muslim. So what makes you the real reason to enter Islam? What did you find it? Well, I wasn't, I wasn't connected to God through the, through the Catholicism. Mm. It is not an spiritual, it's not like the Eastern religions, that is, they are very spiritual. They are very practicing, but not connecting, unfortunately. And uh, and when you have the when you have the questioning, the rational questioning in your head, there are no answers. There were no answers for me. That's a particular case for me. So I decided to start studying, and uh, and I found myself more protected, secure, and I found an aim to live. So that's why I converted to, reverted to Islam. Reverted. Reverted. Inshallah. So what was the reaction of your family when they saw you became Muslim? Well, my father was, he said, was he, he's now, he's now, he's not here with us. My father was a liberal, liberal person. So for him it was very easy to understand that this is a search that we have to do in life. So he, he was happy of my happiness. Uh, my mother's side, they were very strictly Catholic and very, uh, you know, we call something Marianistic. They were more worshiping Marian even than yeah. Jesus sometimes. Yeah. And they were a little, a little upset. But later when you explain to them how Mariam, the importance of Mariam in the Quran, the importance of Mariam, the mother of Jesus, Virgin Marian, they, they are surprised and they were happy that I found a way to love Jesus in the Islam and love Mariam and respecting them in the Islam, but not worshiping them. So they were happy they, and they ended. Okay. So what the first thing that you sacrifice, uh, struggle when you enter, when you became Muslim? Well, there are two main things that we, we can say, even the pork or the alcohol or the mm. bad habits, but uh, nothing that I really feel that I struggle because 
when we when you go to doctor and you are sick the first thing that they the doctor asks you to leave is the pork and the alcohol so and the and the tobacco and some things that they were just, they were not really uh, uh, enjoying or using too much so what I, what happened is that uh, i feel more with gaining more with better habits more with um, I, I didn't lose too much more at gain you know the concept of the brotherhood the the secure and safe of being in the right path to the Lord, uh, the the way of connecting to the Lord, prostrating and prostrating and submitting yourself into uh, grounding yourself and praying in the way that Jesus was praying, that Ibrahim was praying, that Musa was praying, that all the prophets were praying. So you feel more secure and more uh, connected. And this is something that inner inner peace came and forget about what the alcohol and the pork and the other things are so only superficial things, nothing compared with the things that you gain. So I, for me nothing nothing to lose, nothing not only gaining, 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 Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. So before we end the video, maybe you can give advice to the Muslims and non Muslims on English and later on maybe you can give another advice for uh, those Spanish people. Maybe who can not. Thank you very much. But Thank I think I much. wanted to wear the hat also that you wear. Yes, please. In Philippines, we use the same, but in farm. Ah, the sombrero. The <laughs> sombrero. Oh, really, eh? Here we are. No, but I don't... To, 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 to campesinos, to que... How do you say? Farmers in, uh, in Tagalog. Uh, uh, campesinos, chavacanos. Uh, mag, uh, mag, mangsasaka. Mangsasaka. It's someone like doing the, you know, the rice farm. The rice farm. Yeah. Good, excellent. So an advice from rice farmers from agriculture. Maybe I can ask one Filipino. Ano yung farmer sa atin sa Tagalog? Magsasaka. The same. Magsasaka. Magsasaka. Okay, good. Yeah, we call campesinos. It. It. Or chavacanos. We call chavacanos as well. Ah. Then, the advice, the advice for the non-Muslims is to stay straight. Because it's very easy. Life is, life is full of temptations. The stay, stay straight is, is worthy to be a good Muslim and uh, no need to lose your path. And for the non-Muslims, brothers, I highly, lovely recommend Islam. Islam is really a path that you will feel very much, much comfortable and secure. Believe me. You don't have to believe me. Read. Find the truth. And you know what? Search. Search and search. Read, read and read. Because you will find the truth. And the truth is there waiting for you. So now maybe this message will reach in your country or Spanish people. Even in our place, there is a Chavacano people. Mm -hmm. the, the language is the same as Spanish. Ah. So inshallah, maybe you can give advice to all the Spanish people pues, uh, about Islam, inshallah. Pues un saludo de amor y de paz para los, los que entendemos español. Eh, yo les recomiendo, como persona, después de 20 años de musulmán, les recomiendo el Islam como el camino verdadero hacia Dios como el camino de entregarse a un Dios eh, misericordioso y compasivo. Así que, bienvenidos al Islam. Gracias, hermano. Gracias. Gracias, señor. Gracias. So, thank you for watching. Hope if you like this, uh, comment below if you uh, want, you have any questions. And hope you can maybe answer it if you have any questions, and even in Spanish, inshallah. And we are here located in Riyadh. You, maybe you can promote your, this is your coffee shop? Es el sombrero, es el coffee shop, es un friend of mine. But we have the Colombian coffee here. The yeah. richest maybe and freshest coffee in the world. Sombrero. Sombrero. Yes, sombrero is waiting for you. The same Tagalog. Okay, so where's the location? We put them down in the link. Below. Thank you very much, yes. And Thank you for promoting. Visit. Do they have any discount or something? Probably, yes. Yeah, just type my, just mention my name, KC22. Ah, KC22. Yes. If they say this code, okay, yeah, good. should have yes, please. discount. Because yes, they sure. are my followers and subscribers. Okay, sure. And you are welcome here uh, anytime. In those Thank you very much. Spots. Thank you, Brother Thank Brian. you for Thank meeting you. Much. And may Allah bless us. Amen. Amen. Omar, you have stand? No, I don't have stand. But I, uh, stand. I can, I can. Uh... So you are recording. You are record. You are recording it. No, not yet. Yes, you are. Oh, it's recording already. Okay. Here we go, Mr. Mustafa.
Habibi. And Ibrahim, what are you doing? Uh, just experiment. We don't have we don't have a stand. Ibrahim lost his stand, and we have. Shafa <laughs> became one million subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have good stuff. We're making now interview with uh, Mr. Uh, Gustavo Mustafa. Sabela po. Sabela. Masha'Allah. Kayo kayo, taga saan kayo? Rehas, kami pa kayo. Hi, Sabela. Taga na kayo dito. Subscribe po kayo. Thank you. Oh, bisito na kabayan dito lang sa... Anong street ito? Okay, anong... Okay. Do you know my location, Sayyid Alim? Okay, thank you, sir.